Is it recording here? I checked. Hope you're having a lovely morning so far. Wanted to quickly introduce why we're doing this video right here. Um, we're getting a lot of comments, which we're really appreciative of. It's, mm -hmm. it's definitely encouraging and fun. We're, we're thinking about starting to do a second video every week. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, but the comments, we're getting a lot of comments that we love yeah. and we're trying to keep up. Um, Aubrey's mostly, when you get a comment from us, it's probably her. Um, but we always want to go deeper into the comments. So, um, a well, lot we're of, also get, we're getting like more comments about like us as yeah. people. Mm -hmm. Um, and so we really want a way to like talk about, just like share more with right. you. Cause we, we know you yeah. guys are probably here because of them. Yeah, <laughs> not for us, but yeah. yeah, but it might be fun. So we're going to do one yeah. video per week, hopefully in the middle of the week where we just, um, we either respond to certain comments mm -hmm. or usually we'll probably look at the comments and kind of make a topic out of that. Um, and then talk yeah. on that topic. If you have something that you'd like, like a question that you have or something, then like leave it in the comments. Mm -hmm. We read every comment. Mm -hmm. um, and so if you- I appreciate them. Yeah, seriously. So if you um, have any ideas for us, then we'd love to know. Um, but this one, I don't know if we really got a question about this one, this but is, this was yeah. kind of like a, we want to just like debrief about the week with you guys. Yeah, so I wanted to kind of fill you guys in on this. Uh, because first of all, I just think it's good to have a realistic perspective about yeah. it. Um, and Van we, life is so glamorous on social yeah, media right now. It's yeah, I don't know if it's really that way all the time in real yeah. life, you know, and making it happen. Yeah. So let me say what happened in the week. Um, so here's what happened. You know, we buy this van, very great price. Um, think it just needs a fuel pump. Replace the fuel pump and find out it needs an engine, and it's a Mercedes engine. And that's what we found it this week. That that's it we needed found it an this engine. Week. So that's twenty thousand dollars that were down. Now, fortunately, there's there's some bright sides to this, and that we're gonna essentially get a new van mm -hmm. with zero miles, and it had almost two hundred thousand. It was a diesel engine, but but still, um, we're essentially getting a new van, and we're gonna be fine. You know, we're not yeah. having to like give up on van life. We're still gonna do it. Yeah. It's just like, you know, it's a lot, and you have got to sacrifice other things. Like I'm about to do my master's. We were planning on starting a super cool business. Mm -hmm. And it's not that those things are gone, it's just that those things are going on hold and it's it dis it's deeply, dis I'd say, very disappointing. I feel like we just kind of were hit that day with like the reality of it. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and the reality that like in order to keep this possible mm -hmm. and to make this happen, mm -hmm. we're gonna have to like be okay not buying a lot of things yeah, that we want right, to buy. Right, right, <laughs> Like and, I, and making sacrifices. Yeah. I mean, we have so many business ideas. We're gonna be doing some of them and we'll clue you guys in when we do. Mm -hmm. But I, we just got some wise words recently that you have to sacrifice. Like you've gotta know what you're going to, to give up. You know what I mean? Like, and we know a van we're gonna do. Yeah. Period. As long as we're kicking, we're gonna do it, right? Yeah. And, and we might not do some other things and you know, or at least we might not do them as soon as we want to. As soon to. as we want to, right, right, right. And here's an interesting note too, is something we've been talking about. Um, maybe this isn't as much as we think it is. It, it seems like people who are into van life are very like super laid back, don't mm. really have a whole lot of like, not drive, but like like ambition maybe because they're content, right? Yeah. They're just like chilling out. And Where, I'm yeah. happy for those people. Happy. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. I love those people. <laughs> she, you are mostly that person. Yeah. I am very much not, right? So she's like constantly dragging me out of this like very much corporate focused day, yeah. like job focus. So it's been a hard thing thinking about the van. And there's a lot of insecurity tied to it mm -hmm. of leaving my job, a job that I, I'm good at and I enjoy with people that I like. Um, and that has a clear path to success where we know what success looks like. Um, and I mean, it's sales. Like you get sales yeah. or you don't. Whereas now we're going to a place where there is, we've got to define our own um, success. success. Well, not only success, but achievement. like achievement. Like yeah. what, when have we, there is no making it. Now it's mm -hmm. just a lifestyle, right? So mm -hmm. it's like, um, no longer am I trying to get this position, then this position, then this, hit these numbers. It's more just like, you're now just living, right? It's yeah. just a different paradigm. It's just so breaking paradigms that we've always worked towards that yeah. it, it has a lot, like really takes a lot of courage, which sounds, it sounds dumb. Cause it's like, you guys are living an amazing life. Right, you're going right. to get to travel, but at least well, for some I think people, you should, yeah. you should expand on that. Cause I think that's very true. Like that's not as true for me, but that's has been very real yeah. for you. And so like, 
Like, what's the background of that? Um, I'm from a big family, and in the the 2008 crash, um, my dad was at home building, so we just like lost our home and lost a bunch of stuff. And it was really tough, and I'm sure yeah. that happened to a lot of you guys. It, it was just kind of a short end of a stick situation for millions of people. And as a, I mean, even I wasn't out of the house at all yet. I was still pretty young, mm-hmm. um, and so. It was this idea of like, I will never let that happen. You know what I mean? I will never put myself in the position where um, I would, you know, this could all disappear. And of course, that was out of everyone's control, right? Yeah. Like no one knew that was going to happen. It was out of control. But there's this ridiculous idea that like, we've got to build this stability. We've got to build our retirement accounts. And it's there's a lot of wisdom to that. But then there's a level where both of us have the understanding. We There's not a point where we want to stop working. And there's right. not a point where we want to like have a house over like a thousand square feet and we've made that decision maybe that'll change i i would not be surprised if it doesn't change um yeah and so it's it's on the logical level where you look at things and you're like this is what i want like i want to travel i want to live in a van i know that i um I want to live a simpler life i want to live a simpler and, life yeah. i want time to invest in you and time to invest in us and me yeah. and in our friends and relationships and community and you can't really do that and like a you know 8.30 to 5.30 type of job, you, you know, you, you just really can't that effectively. So on, on, on paper, it's like, of course I'd want to do this. Like, how lucky are we to be able to do it? Yeah. But then there's this emotional side for people like me, and I'd be very interested to hear if there's anyone who relates to this, who, where it really is like, I'm on a good trajectory. Why in the world would I stop this trajectory? Hmm. Like, there's so much fear. Maybe I'll come back in 10 years and be no further along, you know? And I could have wor- just worked my butt off and been further along and just kept it kept grinding away. And it's just a bit of a disconnect. So I, we're both so excited. You're like 100% excited. I'm 100% yeah. excited. But there's there's a hard side to this. There's, there's a side where it's like, you know, you are giving up things. And then this mm-hmm. this repair made it be like, oh, we're obviously giving up things in a monetary sense. In a like, more philosophical sense, when you have to just like sit and look at the fact that you know, like you, everyone's going to be gone and all that we work for is not that important. Yeah. It's like, how seriously can you take your job? I mean, you can take it seriously and you want to take it seriously and do well. But how seriously can we really like kill ourselves over it? Do you know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? And just like <laughs> expend every ounce of energy over it. Because right. look, like you've got one life and that is a hard thing to stare at. But after you stare at it, you can kind of like pick yourself back up and be like, okay, like what am I going to do now? You know, I, I, mm-hmm. I can, you know, maybe I'm, there's like, maybe I'm not working towards anything big and great and grand and fantastic. Maybe we're just here. But w- with that in mind, okay, you're never going to have this day again. You're never going to be mm-hmm. this young as this moment is. So what the heck are you doing if you hate where you are? Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. especially, especially if you're in your 20s, if you're young, um, like us, to where like, we don't have kids, you know, we, we are financially okay, we're, we have food on the table, mm-hmm. we can do this. Whereas mm-hmm. some people, even if they can, it's so much more difficult yeah. and would be wrong to just do it. You know, yeah. like, like it wouldn't be the right thing to just disappear one day hmm. um, be it because of their obligations to other right, people, right, right. things like that. Yeah. So, so do it. This is, a, this is an interesting video, not yeah. what we expected to film, but yeah. I mean, so like yeah, I guess, I guess the thing is like like what what th- what is your dream? Like that sounds so cliche, but like truly like what what is the thing that like if you were like eighty three and you were looking back on your life and you would be just just sad, just just horribly like heartbroken That's if so you didn't do. I know, but like, being but, like so, not I'm just sorry. heartbroken. Look, okay, eighty something like eighty eight percent of regrets are things people didn't do or mm. they did do. That's like, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that, I mean, think about that and let that sink in. And it's not like, what's your dream? Let's go party. It's like, no, let's make a list of what you will sacrifice for and mm. what like, what are the things you will do? Sometimes you've got to take a good long look at things mm. and just be like, I'm never going to be here again. And do I, do I feel like um, what I'm doing is valuable? Is it worth getting up in the morning for? Is it worth putting my energy into? And if it's not, maybe you need to make a jump. And sometimes that can be an excuse to not work towards something. But sometimes, it, I mean, especially for the really driven people out there, it can be like so easy to just lock yourself into something you don't want mm-hmm. because of a, like someone's telling you it's what you should do. So you're like, okay, I'm gonna do it 
better than anybody else. And all of a sudden you can't even step back and be like, why am I doing this? So we should probably end the video. Yeah. Um, but let us know in the comments below. If you like this style of videos. Yes. That is the biggest thing to let us know. Yes. The next one will not be this heavy. <laughs> this like, <laughs> so, um, but let us know like what you want to hear about and also you your like thoughts this. on all of this. If you're doing anything like van life, did it, did it, Yeah. has this been something you've struggled with or thought about or wrestled with at all? Or anything um, like, like maybe minimalism, maybe living veganism, like, yeah, any like changes. anything that you have like really sacrificed for, like how, yeah, yeah. how have you overcome any kind of like, uh, adversity to it? And mm -hmm. we'd appreciate that for our own lives. Cause we're yeah. in the midst of overcoming our own fears, I'd say. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys for sticking with us through some yeah. open and honest conversation. <laughs> We'd love to hear from you. Yeah. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Bye.